Dung, like many farmers, had a problem with animal waste. With a hundred pigs, a hundred ducklings and a buffalo, he had a mountain of manure to contend with. The solution? A biogas plant. Before we had the biogas plant, there was a horrific stench, very dirty and smelly. If the manure is not treated well, it spreads around smell, it spreads around diseases, and it's uh, an unhealthy uh, environment. SNV, a Dutch development organization, joined forces with Vietnam's Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development to bring biogas plants to rural areas. This allows farmers like Dong to turn unhealthy waste into a valuable resource. The farmer feeds the biodigester every day when he's cleaning the manure. In the digester itself, an anaerobic fermentation process starts, which is a bit the same as in your own stomach, in which the same processes happen. Uh, also, there gas is produced, and the biogas is led via a piping system to the kitchen. And the household toilet is connected as well. All this is washed away to the underground tank to keep the environment hygienic. The methane gas produced by the biogas plant helps to clean up another problem that plagues rural areas, indoor air pollution. I used to burn either garbage or wood. When there was smoke, it made me cough and gave me sore eyes. Breathing in the dust and ash also made me cough. Biogas is not just used for cooking, it can light homes too. If we have a power cut, we use a biogas lamp instead. Or we can use this to save electricity. Having a biogas system saves women nearly two hours a day. But Tuan doesn't have one yet, so she still has to do things the hard way. When I can, I do this to get fuel for cooking. We may spend a whole Sunday collecting. Smoke from cooking fires is a global health problem thought to cause over one and a half million premature deaths each year. It is very smoky. If we don't open the window, it is impossible to cook. Having heard about the benefits, Tuan has decided to pay to have a biogas system installed. The joint program run by SNV and the Ministry of Agriculture trains masons, promotes and markets the benefits of biogas in the countryside and provides a small subsidy for installation. Bai Yi is a head mason who's built a thousand biogas plants since 2006. There are many steps in building a biogas plant. First, we prepare the surface, then comes digging a hole, preparing materials, asking the owner to buy the materials, brick, sand, cement and stone. The aim of SNV in the Vietnamese government was to create a national market for biogas plants strong enough to thrive even after their joint program finished. The masons also received from the program business training and some of those masons are very successful so they can even construct outside of the program. By the end of 2009, over 78,000 biogas plants had been built within the government program. Nearly 400,000 people have benefited, saving 167,000 tonnes of CO2 each year. And the Masons construct many plants for private customers outside the program too. The construction of all these biogas systems has created thousands of jobs in rural Vietnam. <laughs> If the program ends, I will keep on building biogas plants as long as there is a demand. I'm very happy as people are calling me all the time. I have a lot of work to do. Rural employment and free clean cooking fuel are just some of the benefits. Turning animal and human waste into energy reduces health and environmental hazards. And for farmers like Dong, there's an added advantage the nutrient-rich slurry left after the biogas has been produced. This slurry is really good, really good for the tea trees. We use a lot of less chemical fertilizer now. At over 500 US dollars, a biogas plant is a sizable investment for a farming family, but it's money well spent.
If you calculate the benefits of the gas and of the slurry for an average farmer, within two and a half to three years, uh, the investment is paid back. The current programme ends in 2012, but the promotion of biogas will continue. Biogas is here to stay as long as there are farmers raising pigs or cattle. There are almost one million households that are technically eligible for a biodigester. So this is only the beginning. The SNV and Vietnamese government's joint programme is creating jobs, cleaning up rural areas and cutting carbon emissions. And it gives families back their most precious resource, time.